How did you find the game on Thursday compared with the, you know, the opening two games in Scotland? I think the first game here was a bit had a bit had hectic. Sorry. Um, I think we knew what we were going into in the start of the game that it was going to be a very aggressive team. Um, any team competing at Champions League that it was going to be, um, you know, a tough game all along. So I think that we did well to manage the game, but just getting the nerves to settle in. A lot of new uh, players on the field that hadn't had the Champions League experience. So I think the nerves were high on both ends, which you saw in the play, just kind of a lot of back and forth. But um, yeah, I think it was good that we settled into the game. And hopefully now with this experience going into the next game, it'll be uh, a more dominant, calm start like it was against Aberdeen. We were asking about the, you know, the pitch and how it affects the players. What, what was it like for you personally? Yeah, it's tough. I think, uh, given the conditions, it's something again we knew we were going into. It's tough to get your cleats stuck, you know, and the ball bouncing. But you just have to be ready for those variables that are out of your control and be even more clean and even more crisp with your passes. Um, for me, it was just to be aware of, you know, exactly where the ball is going to bounce, be on my toes. Uh, be extra aware and you know just give yourself that extra cushion room for runs that are going in behind but um, yeah and presumably you've seen some footage of PA, PA OK by now what, what kind of game do you expect from them yeah I think that it's they are a very good team and I think they're going to play a little bit more than we saw in the first game which is great and um, yeah, yeah. They're, they're strong but I think that now having seen them play that I feel very confident going into the game that it's going to give us a, a different look, um, but that we will do very well against them. So fairly confident about reaching the second round. Yeah, I think, like I said, not having the experience in the first game, but those nerves settling down. And I think it one game does give you a lot of confidence. And I think we did well to handle the first game. And looking back on it, just managing these minutes and um, yeah, just relying on our older players who have the experience and building on that. And uh, I think the result was pretty solid. So I think there's a lot to take from that game and go into this game with a lot of confidence. Obviously, you've been thrown in slightly at the deep end where you're involved in European competition. Uh, considering your, your background, you don't have a, an international background um, like quite a few of the girls. So this is obviously, would you consider this probably the highest level you've played at so far? Yeah, I would definitely say that this was something that's been on my career bucket list to make it into the Champions League. And um, I think it's fantastic to see all of us have this opportunity and what we can do with it and the doors that it opens for players and uh, just to learn from not only my teammates, but the other teams and just get a taste of that level. Um, any team, no matter where they're coming from, who has made it into the Champions League deserves to be here for a reason. And so... I'm excited to see how I compete at this level and where I stand and just uh, continue to grow. And in terms of your, your own development, obviously in the US, quite a lot of women's football is tied with uh, academia. To move into a, a full-time professional setup, has that been something you've taken a bit of time to adjust to, you know, with it being, being a different country? I mean, I know you were with the IK, but in terms of um, your own development, is has been in Scotland, dealing with a different type of play, perhaps been asked to play slightly differently. How have you coped with that? Yeah, I think throughout my career, I've been very fortunate to always have several teammates that have the experience. And I think just watching them and learning from them, picking up different tips on how to be the most professional that I can be on and off the field, what professional, what being a professional footballer means to me has changed over my career and I think being at this club is exactly where my next step took me and it's going to be great the facilities the coaching staff the style of play um, it's giving me extra tools to put in my toolkit as a player getting more confident playing out of the back and just getting that consistency through 90 minutes um, it's been fantastic and just moving to a different country you learn a lot about yourself and uh, being uncomfortable is helping me grow a lot as a person and a player and to adjust to new teammates and new style of play and just a whole new culture all at once is uh, it's fun but it's a challenge and 
one that I'm very excited for this season.